Hi folks, this is Lee Murphy, the artist of ArtByLeeMurphy.com here on this uh, video channel and my website ArtByLeeMurphy.com Anyhow, this is another video dealing with one of my little fun little sketchbook projects and this one came about from trying to solve a problem with spiral bound notebooks or journals or sketchbooks, whatever you want to call them. And here is the example of the problem. This is an old beat up sketchbook I've had forever and you can see how dented this is and raggedy uh, torn pieces of paper here um, the edges are chewed up um, there's just really not a, you know for all the work that we generally put into these things they don't stand up to a whole lot of, of rough handling and another problem with spiral bound uh, notebooks sketchbooks journals here's one that's pretty badly dented here is when you start stacking them or trying to put them in a bookcase they have a problem with the rings are, or the spirals, are wider than the books themselves, so it makes them kind of start sitting at a weird angle and getting caught on stuff and just being generally unattractive. So this is the solution I finally came up with. This is also a spiral-bound sketchbook of um, black paper sketchbook. I thought it was kind of neat. And um, this is, of course, the title, Noir. Uh, French for black, uh, but you can see here is the spiral right here, and this is how I got it to sit relatively square and protect it some more. Um, you can see I ran a small brass rod with a loop in there, kind of like what you would do with a uh, ring binder, but even with ring binders they sit too kind of triangularly, and those are a pain when you put them in more, more than one together, or even they just don't sit well in a bookcase or anything. So I use the brass wire to hold that. It runs all the way through up to the top here. And they're anchored with these ornamental brass pieces here, right here and right here. And that helped to keep it a lot more stable. It sits in here pretty, pretty firmly wired in there tightly and then to compensate for the space that this makes between the uh, the wire and the actual thickness of the notebook itself I took mat board now you can use book binders board but that's expensive and harder to find since I'm an artist and I have lots of uh, dropouts from window mats uh, for matting my watercolors, I have plenty of these things on hand, but if you don't have that, you can probably go to any old framing shop, any place that does framing, and probably get them for cheap uh, or free if you ask nicely. So what this is, is two layers of mat board right here. Uh, this is the back spine is two layers of mat board, and so is the back cover. And on the inside, which I used, you see this is, uh, I guess you call it Thai marble paper. And this is Japanese ink marbled paper. And I kind of like the way the both of them look together. And I used that and beveled it and try to get a little bit of uh, thickness there to buffer it and actually make the, um, you know, make it, make it sit a lot more square. Now it's not quite square, but as I work on the pages, you can see some of the ones I've already painted on have buckled a little bit. So that's going to expand out a little bit. I would like to say I planned it like that, but it didn't. It just kind of turned out that way. So, um, I ended up finding these picture frame corners in a craft store on sale, so I got four of them, and that seemed to work. And they seem to go pretty well with these ornamental box corners. Uh, you can find these online in certain craft stores for super, super cheap. And um, they can be used for, all, like once again, the corners here for... Um, Here's an example of what I will eventually do. I took a corner like that, split it in half, bent it over, and these will wind up eventually being the clasps for this particular book when I'm, you know, get start get finished with it more. Um, and take while we're here, we can take a little bit of a tour through it. Uh, this was actually the cover of just the plain paper cover of the spiral notebook as it was and I put you know painted this back and this right here the best gold paint I have ever found for 
um, embellishing paper is actually Tester's Gold Enamel. Uh, it's kind of smelly and hard to deal with, but it's got, it seems to have the best burnished look to it. And then another layer of the marbled paper. I had to take this apart, actually, and then cut through that uh, so I didn't have any of the ugly, I don't even remember what the cover looked like, the ugly cover showing. And it gives a little bit more substantialness um, to this was basically like a title page now. And then as I work in it, now it's a lot more stable. One of the one of the few benefits with spiral binding is it does lie flat. I do like that. I, I usually prefer hard bound books, but sometimes those are a little bit hard to open them out and use the whole piece of paper. So I've actually started experimenting with gouache and acrylic and different kinds of things to see what actually works the best for working on this type of paper here. And as I go through the the pages of such things, and it'll, it'll evolve. It's kind of a neat thing to play with, but I had to make sure at first there was a, you know, it was going to have a good enough cover and be strong enough to withstand an awful lot of working in, which so many of these spiral bound notebooks don't. So hopefully you have some things to take away from this to deal with spiral binding problems in sketchbooks, notebooks, and journals. And thank you for watching.